to believe that it's been more than a decade since the release of David Fincher's The Social Network. The film is phenomenal in many ways, one of the most significant of the young century, and from a music standpoint, it arguably changed the industry. After all, it features the first full film score from Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, and the impact that the two men have had on the art form in the years since is tremendous. From The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo to Waves to HBO's Watchmen series, the music of Reznor and Ross has become an aspect of films and television that cinephiles independently anticipate, and every score they've developed has possessed a unique energy and style. This incredible talent was on full display in 2020, with the radically different work they did for both David Fincher's Mank and Pixar's Soul, and thus that makes this the perfect year to celebrate their incredible filmography. It is with great honor that I am here to present the Hollywood Critics Association Artisan Achievement Award to Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Hollywood Critics Association, for this uh, honor. Um, very flattered. I'm not really even sure what to say here. You know, we, I guess it was a little over 10 years ago, we had our first opportunity to work in film properly when David Fincher reached out with the Social Network. And really for that project, we, we'd never even considered, it never crossed our mind, accolades or response. It was really about how, how do we adapt what we kind of know how to do, compose music into this medium that we love of film and do it with a great filmmaker on a project that was really exciting. Um, and in that process, um, we stumbled into something that really became seductive and magical for us. And that was realizing the awesome power that music can emotionally have in this new medium of film with, with visuals and storytelling set against it. You know, we, we only really knew songwriting. And to, to bear witness to how much power and how, how directly and acutely one can affect someone's emotional response watching watching a story unfold it was really something that um, made a huge impression. It was greatly inspiring to us in our songwriting and made us want to continue to work in this field. You know, and, and we're incredibly grateful that we've had such um, great collaborators and generous collaborators over the years and the various projects we've had that have allowed us to look at this purely as a means of expression in an art form. It never, never, it never has felt like work. It's never felt routine. And it's never felt like we, we entirely know what we're doing. You know, every project has been one of experimentation and one of great, uh, of a great learning opportunity. You know, um, this year with Soul and Mank, two pretty polar opposite types of films, it was a real experience to go through, and it was one that we went into humbly in, in both cases and and learned an incredible amount throughout the process. So it really is flattering to be recognized for our, our efforts here, you know, and to be able to, you know, we're grateful that we had, had this work particularly set against a backdrop of a such a strange year of everyone being isolated and apart from each other, you know, and, and we're two guys that I think defined ourselves and kind of thrived on being outsiders, 
and and loners and people that by choice sit in a room together and work and kind of don't socialize that much. But having the ability to, to socialize taken away and having to deal with this and having projects to work on that allowed us to find that connection and, and to be able to pour ourselves into helping emotionally tell a story really helped us feel connected and to see people respond to these films this year we put out and, and find a connection. And again, sit against this backdrop of this incredibly bizarre time. It's just been a, it, it's been something we're very grateful for the ability to do and uh, appreciative of your acknowledgement of our work in this field. So I'm rambling on, but we're grateful. And um, thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much for this uh, recognition. Um, listening to Trent talk so eloquently there made me reflect on 10 years. I mean, God damn, time goes so fast. Um, and when it, when it's a, uh, much as it feels great to be receiving this award, when careers are honored, one can't help feeling a little old. Um, <laughs> but um, truth is, this has been an incredible journey. Um, you know, I, I really do try and take it one day at a time. And like Trent mentioned on social network, we had no idea about the film business and we had no idea about awards. I mean, that whole campaign looking back was quite amusing through our naivety. <laughs> There's some very amusing moments that happened. So it's to sit here 10 years later and think about all that and think about all the stuff that's happened and, you know, our own partnership, you know, which is far longer than most Hollywood marriages, let's face it. Um, you know, it's just been good. And I think that's pretty much all I can say, you know. Um, it's nice to take a minute occasionally and just acknowledge that, yes, we're in a pandemic. I'm clinging on to sanity, but right now this is this is good. Thanks very much. Thank you.